fact that confuses people is faith, the opposite of science, and therefore a cause for the degeneration of society. So a lot of um, atheists especially make fun, and I think quite rightly, of a lot of religious people who have uh, a faith that's not based particularly on fact. And that is not the idea of faith that I have been taught. So anyway, so faith in Islam, at least, I can't speak for all religions, because I don't think uh, from what I've studied, all, all religions are very particularly clear about this. Okay, faith in Islam, at least, is doing the right thing based on reasonable evidence. Yes, many religious people are intellectually lazy and ignore science and prefer to blindly follow others. Such people damage society with silly beliefs. So that's my short answer, but here goes the slightly longer one. Science and faith should be part of the same thing, belief in the truth. Faith should be based on evidence. For example, I have faith that I have a brain, even though I haven't seen it. Faith in religion has an extra meaning because faith has an important job. Faith is when you do something good and you do not know when and how you will be paid back for it. Otherwise, people would end up trading their good actions for benefits. So it's like if you did know exactly, you know, if you do a good deed one day, you get five pounds the next day, it would just be an extension of materialism. And that's why there's a need for this ambigu ambiguity. Ambiguity? I can't even say it. That's what, yeah. Anyway, so, <laughs> so faith stops good actions from becoming selfish ones. Now, here's the thing that I warned my uncle about before the show. I said, this is something that religious people really struggle with. So I'm going to say this. So I blame religious people for the confusion about faith. They like to think they are the chosen ones. So if they do something wrong, God will magically fix it for them. Bad actions, in my opinion, from what I understand, only become right when uh, right ones, good action, bad actions become right ones when you learn from your mistakes. What these religious people are doing, these people who like to have this idea of blind faith, Hmm. is easier than following real faith based on evidence. When religious people start believing silly things, they push their followers to become atheists, which is exactly what we've seen in the UK. There's next to no Christians left. Why? Because they Christianity created atheists all over the country. When religious people start believing in silly things, they put, push their followers to become atheists. I am part of a religious group that prides itself on being scientific. But when our religious leader makes a scientific error, most people in our religious community, from my experience, do not tell him, but just follow the mistake. This is a common problem in any population. So again, Price's Law, something I like to refer to again and again, suggests that most people are wrong most of the time. Mm. When there's disagreement, of course, like not when the earth is flat or something, I don't know. Um, or sorry, if water exists. So things that people disagree with, you'll see most people are wrong most of the time. And actually, there's more disagreement than you realize, say, running a co company. So always be careful not to be part of the majority. Some people say that you should follow all orders so that the community can gain strength to unity. Lots of people doing the wrong thing doesn't make <laughs> things better. Sometimes you are part of a team but do not have the expertise to know why an instruction is given. In that case, do not join the team if you do not trust the experts in the team. Another argument given to me by a religious person for not following orders I think are not good is there is no perfectly good instruction in an imperfect world. So follow the imperfect uh, uh, possibly a bit bad instruction. So hopefully that makes sense. So he's saying there's no perfect instruction, just follow the imperfect instruction in this short version. Okay. It is true that it's hard to find an instruction that hasn't got something slightly bad mixed up with it. So you always need to think that if there is 
an overall if the good instruction the good in the instruction clearly outweighs the bad at the end of the day your conscience is always judging you so do what is right according to your understanding if you like yourself to be happy long speech there any thoughts have you left me room to, for my thoughts <laughs> <laughs> there's three minutes three. four minutes <coughs> yeah <clears throat> a person can only answer a question that is raised or something that he doesn't understand within the realms of the capacity available. Man has developed both mentally, psychologically, and physically over centuries. The man of a thousand years ago is not the same man of today, right? Yeah. So when people like Galileo produce their theorems, the church ridiculed it completely and called him a madman. Right, because the church could not answer the question that was being raised because the people of the church did not have the knowledge, they were just people of faith. Now, God has given us the capacity to both evaluate, and we were talking about uh, learning from your mistakes. Mankind is created so that when he makes mistakes, he strives to improve it and get that wrong undone, and that's what makes humans what we are that we keep progressing and keep improving on what we've got because of this DNA that has been put in us to make mistakes, to learn from them and to overcome them so that we don't put, get put in that situation again. Science in reality will prove the existence of God. Now, the most common, for me, the most common uh, statement that, that will be made by an atheist will be, well, I can't see God, uh, who created God, etc etc right on those lines <clears throat> in reality in life we have only two choices about on this decision either it was by design or it was by accident which is the atheist view right by accident um sorry just one second yeah yeah uh, food no. is arriving yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the is closed. now yeah. as far as uh uh the the atheist is concerned, he can he cannot comprehend that this was a design. So it is absolutely co coincidental. Now scientists, scientists, and there are many scientists who became faith followers because of science. <clears throat> uh, some scientists have done research into this. Now imagine if the, the whole world became about by chance. Okay. Now in that chance somewhere back billions and billions and trillions of years ago two atoms must have got together mm -hmm. a and b correct yeah. now if a and b had not co connected mm. we would not be where we are today sure i think uh, just mathematically oh yeah, go, yeah. go on go on so, so just mathematically just god must yeah. exist we, just, to, yeah, yeah. just to finish that point yeah yeah, uh, yeah. if a and b had not met combined, joined, we would not be here today. So what is the probability of A and B joining, let alone everything else happened that happened after, because there's lots more probabilities to happen where we are today. Scientists have worked out that that probability is like having a 26 side, sorry, having a multi-sided dice with quotations, all the quotations, and you're rolling it, and it produces the Britannia Encyclopedia. Yeah. Right? Impossible. Or well, one scientist said, imagine a table and the chair where I'm standing, that all the atoms are moving simultaneously, they're moving, but at one moment, they simultaneously move with the same power in the same direction that the table and the chair raise and then drop down again. It can't happen. Yeah, right? I think you made a really important point that, uh, that pe atheists make fun of people who have a, a, a reasonable belief in uh you know god reasonable based in science a lot of people don't realize that actually logically god must exist because the probabilities are in, basically it's impossible for god not to exist because of the complexity of the complexities of the universe so that was a really important point thank you for reminding me about that okay 